According to the U.S. military statistics, as of 2024, there are around 1.3 million active duty soldiers and 800,000 reserve and National Guard members. This large and well-distributed population guarantees a sufficiently strong and maneuverable force in the U.S. military for all types of activities worldwide. In this video, we will talk about the advanced technology that distinguishes the U.S. from the others. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The current bomber of the American options is the B-21 Raider, future, mystical, as well as rather secretive, costing around $2.2 billion per aircraft. The Northrop Grumman is one of the youngest among aircraft in the category that represents the ultimate state of stealth innovations, which cannot be seen by even the most modern radar networks. Picture an organism moving silently at night and is equally ready to squawk at any one time. For the sauce, it is possible to say that there is a major distinctive feature of B-21, and it is versatility. This is done in a manner that can afford both conventional and nuclear threats, so that they have a form of answer for the two. With a long-range capability, it will be an aircraft that will reach distant goals all over the world without aerial replenishment. Thus, this is a magnificent enabler of worldwide security. With abundant avionics and sensor systems, they will have nearly perfect awareness of the surrounding environment to give the pilots necessary information to complete their mission. As of today, the U.S. Air Force has been ordering a minimum of 100 B-21 Raiders. It will give a formable part of the American military to combating any future challenge or threat. The specific type of drone that can be classified as the game changer of the current warfare is the MQ-9 Reaper. Also known by the callsign Hunter, the Reaper is a UAV which the United States Army cannot do without it at any time. Picturing a slender, noiseless airplane that is armed with a number of HD cameras and a host of heavy armaments, it's capable of surveillance or launching a hit accurately. Arguably the most versatile multi-mission UAV of the MQ-9 Reaper, which is developed by General Atomics. It can operate at 50,000 feet and can reach more than 27 hours in air, hence suitable for long-endurance missions. Regardless of whether it is scouting the enemy territory or eliminating key targets, the Reaper efficiently does the task. The MQ-9 Reaper costs an average of $16 million per unit. Every drone is equipped with both the surveillance system and strike capacity, which are useful assets for the military. Predator's capability to go deep into hostile territories, unidentified areas without requiring piloted aircraft, has brought about a revolution in warfare in reconciling accuracy, durability, and minimum human risk to achieve the best strategic advantages that are imperative to the modern warfare. The Ohio-class submarines are perhaps the quiet giants of the U.S. Navy, which are the numero uno of the U.S. nuclear triad. Think of a vehicle that is as secluded as a ship, which maybe is submerged underwater for that long period preparing to cause maximum havoc if the need arises. That is the Ohio-class, ladies and gents. These great submarines can launch 24 Trident 2D-5 nuclear missiles and make them one of the most economically equipped weapons on the Earth. These sub-subs are 560 feet long and weigh over 18,000 tons when submerged. Yet they are capable of moving almost like a phantom, stalking the sea, invisible to the opposing force. These submarines are not easy to build, let alone maintain and the construction of each of them ranges between 1.5 and 2 billion U.S. dollars. The Ohio class of submarines enables the United States respond to a nuclear strike contingent, thus acting as a second strike weapon, which is vital in the nuclear strategies of many nations. Concisely for the uninitiated for the U.S. military, the Ohio class submarines are not just a militarily might, they are a guarantee that the country's nuclear forces are credible and dependable. The ANSI Q3 Laser Weapon System, or LOSS, is America's attempt at the future of protection in the military. It probably would feel like being in a scene from the next Matrix movie and shooting down drones, missiles, and small boats with laser-like beams of light. Placed on the deck of the USS Ponce, LOSS can be viewed as changing the methodology of defense to a certain extent. The emphasis is on two factors, accuracy and profitability. The cost of the shot is considerably lower than $1 of energy, while the traditional fired missiles will cost tens of thousands of dollars to be fired. The technology used in loss is state-of-the-art. It can also vary the power of the laser to combust or blind whatever enemy is in its line of sight. 
This makes it quite suitable to be used in various applications, from discouraging to the complete annihilation of a person or a group of people. The development and deployment have well costing tens of millions, but the optimization is worth it. The Electromagnetic Railgun Imagine a cannon utilizing electromagnetic force to launch projectiles at speeds up to Mach 7, smashing targets with all that power and precision. This is no ordinary explosive round. Kinetic energy projectiles tear through targets with brute force caused by their kinetic impact. The U.S. Navy created a railgun capable of hitting targets over 100 miles away. This is a game-changer for long-range engagements, developed under the aegis of the U.S. Navy. Speed and power mean everything with this new type of weapon, delivering hits faster than any conventional weapon. Unlike conventional shells, railgun projectiles are much less expensive, about $25,000 per shot, compared with the million-dollar missiles they can replace. Building and testing the railgun has not been a cheap enterprise, costing hundreds of millions. But the payoff is enormous. For the U.S. military, this would mean having in its arsenal a weapon that is unrivaled, both in terms of firepower and accuracy. All of this without necessarily spending money on expensive explosives for munitions. And then there's the active denial system, another high-tech form of crowd control often described by the U.S. military as some form of heat ray that doesn't cause lasting harm. It's as if one were to open the oven door and get smacked in the face with hot air, enough to make you step back without burns or harm to your body. ADS disperses crowds, protects bases, and maintains control of hostile situations without using force. An invention of the United States military, it operates more than 500 yards away. Operators are able to keep themselves out of harm's way and focus on controlling the problem. This system also offers the best option other than the basic methods of manual crowd control, like rubber bullets or tear gas that can cause more complicated injuries. The Integrated Visual Augmentation System, or IVAS, would be like being in the middle of a high-tech video game, only it's for real life. Super View. That's one of the enhancements that would dramatically alter the way the soldier perceives reality and navigates through it. Imagine a headset that fuses night vision, thermal imaging, and augmented reality into a single slick package for the soldier. The feeling can be compared to experiencing some kind of a superhuman vision of the battlefield. The Microsoft-designed IVAS, obtained jointly with the U.S. military, gives current data for map and situation visualization and decision-making. It will place such information as maps, positions of enemies, and the direction pointers directly on the individual soldier's site. This can help the troops to penetrate through smoke, darkness, and barriers, getting an edge in kinematics of high-speed conflict. Some experts consider that it may be very costly, rather recalling the fact that any unit contains a great amount of latest technologies. Still, the benefits are enormous for the United States military. The F-35 Lightning II is considered as the next-generation joint strike fighter that the U.S. desired, where it features on stealth, supersonic speed, as well as modern technology. Envision a jet that will fly stealth. This will infiltrate enemy territory, provide crucial reconnaissance information, and then launch pinpoint, devastating attacks all within one mission. By examined, that is the F-35, a disturber or a changer in the sky battle systems. Manufactured by Lockheed Martin, it comes in three models, namely those that are designed for mission-specific, with regard to the manner of takeoff. This aircraft has been described as special, not just because of the special features that accompany it, but the fact that these features are optional. The next-generation sensor suite, among other things, offers pilots an unmatched awareness space within which they operate. It's almost like having eyes in the back of your head and a few more pairs in different places for good measure. The F-35 comes with a price of approximately $80 million per jet, but this is so equipped that the cost is worth every single coin. Specifically, air-to-air -air combat and ground attack are among its potential tasks assigned to an F-35 fighter. Therefore, the new aircraft became the foundation of the modern military concept. To the U.S. military, having the F-35 is equal to having the technological upper hand against all opponents. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more video like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.